Hey guys, welcome back. Let's go over creating outlines for your artwork, otherwise known as offsets for your designs. This technique is one of many ways that we create blanks and finished products. I'm going to go over how I do this in Inkscape, Illustrator, and Lightburn. It might not be the traditional way that it's done, but it's my way. So let's begin. First thing you got to do is you got to pick your design. If you don't have one made up already, you can usually grab an SVG from online sources such as Etsy or Creative Market. If you can't buy one right now, you can find some that are licensed under the Creative Commons CC0, um, which allows you to copy, modify, and distribute the work. You can even use it for commercial purposes. For those of you who are just getting in and you're wanting to try to maybe start a business out of this, that might be a route that you'd like to go down. Um, so for this project, I went ahead and I went to freesvg.org. They are a CC0 depository and I grabbed an image. So in Inkscape, we are going to import our file. So you go to file import. I picked a bulldozer. My daughter is big into bulldozers right now. So this particular image is going to have to get ungrouped. We are going to remove that at the bottom. So I've found that the easiest way to do this in Inkscape is to actually copy and paste the shape. So you can take the new copy of the shape, select your node editing tool and select the shape itself. You're then going to want to go to path and outset. The hotkeys for the outset is control close parentheses. So as you notice, as soon as I clicked it, the lines got just a little bit thicker. So I'm going to use the hotkeys to continue from here. We'll control outset and we'll just keep going until we're satisfied with the way that it looks. All right. So I'm pretty happy with the shape that it has come out with. Now you can edit the nodes on the inside if you so wish because now this negative space is going to be considered a cut line in your program. So whether you're using Lightburn to control your laser or uh, you're using a Cricut uh, design space, it really doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove these nodes. I don't, I just want a clear solid piece. All right. The next step after that is I like to give it a stroke and remove the fill. This helps me better visualize what the blank looks like and what my finished product will appear as. So you then you select the two shapes, you align them together. And there you have it. And now your file is ready to be sent to your design program. You can make this into a sticker. You can make it into a keychain, depending on the size. You can make it into a sign, wall art, whatever you want. That's how we do it in Inkscape. Now the steps in Adobe Illustrator are a little different, but some of them are the same. First things first is we are going to open the file. So the bulldozer. Yep. Nope. Oh, I see what happened. All right. So the same thing in here. We're going to ungroup this. We are going to remove that. And then select. I have the Essentials toolbar or the Essentials workspace in Adobe Illustrator with the image selected. I will go to Object Path Offset Path. You can click on Preview and adjust the offset accordingly. And you can even adjust what the edges and the corners look like. 
you can have them mitered, round, or beveled. I prefer round. You click OK. And there you have it. So we'll make this easier to see. Let's ungroup it. We'll select the background. We will remove the fill and we will give it a stroke. And there it is. The offset is ready. Again, you can make your stickers, you can make your keychains. Sky's the limit. To adjust the nodes in Illustrator, you use the direct selection tool. You click on the path. I want to remove these cuts. So I will select these paths. Be sure to not select anything you don't want to remove. And that's it. Finished. And as promised, I said I will show you how to do this in Lightburn as well. So in Lightburn, it is actually insanely easy. So you just import your bulldozer, you bring it in. Again, we're going to ungroup this. We don't want the text here at the bottom. We're going to select our bulldozer. And the offset tool is right here. You click on this. Also, it does the same thing. It previews it right away. And you can adjust the offset either by entering the numbers or by clicking on the arrows up and down. Push OK. It's selected it. I would like to get rid of these nodes. So we will ungroup this. And they are gone. And that's how you do the offset in Lightburn.